Hi everyone, my name is Courtney. Normally I talk about my experience with spinal muscular atrophy type 3, but today I am going to talk about um, budgeting and finances. So especially with having a neuro neuromuscular disease, things can get um, expensive pretty fast. So I have my physical therapy, um, going to a neurologist, going to see a gynecologist, and, um, going to see the primary care physician, oh, the, the breathing test, the pulmonary function test, going to get that. That costs a lot. This week, just in medical, just by my deductibles, I spent $80 on medical care. What I'm doing is creating a budget using an envelope system. So um, I didn't have any envelopes around, so I went to the 99 cent store and I bought some envelopes, $1 for a pack of 30 envelopes, and I think I'm using five. But anyway, so what I did, I figured out my budget, um, what I need to be spending on, what things I was spending on that I hadn't been um, careful about before that I could really cut out. And I found I'm actually spending a ton of money on things like eating out. And um, that's something that I can save. I can prep my food at home and just take lunches with me and quit buying my food at places, and that'll save me a lot per month. I wrote down, um, I don't know if you can see it, I wrote down kind of my my, my budget, like the how much I get paid in three months, how many, how much I've paid toward bills in the last three months, and what I definitely need to pay every month, like my car payments, and my student loans, my credit card bills, and gas, and AAA. I'm pretty lucky. I, I still am at home with my parents uh, because California is extremely expensive. But besides that, I'm pretty lucky where I don't pay um, for other things on top of what I do have. I took some envelopes and I did. So here's my car payment. And I wrote on it. And um, I also included AAA in this as well. And for this one, I wrote down... Um, also, how much, um, yeah, I wrote it down in parentheses, sorry, the sun's kind of bright, but how much I'm paying, um, allowing per month for my car payments and for my AAA bill, and then also for gas, the same thing with gas, how much have I been spending a month? I found I've been spending about $140 per month, so my budget for that is $150, and hopefully I won't use all that much, but I will have it at the end of the month. What I don't use, I can put towards some of my debt. I'm also going to do the same thing with student loans. Okay, student loans. I'm not going to do it right now because it's going to require a lot of thought about how much I can afford to pay on my student loans. But, um, scary. So, same thing. Credit cards. So, for me, I personally want to include in my budget, um, food and then stuff for me. One of my goals for this year is to not eat out. So, what I'm trying to do is save, like, maybe put aside maybe, like, $10 a day for me for spending money. And then my role with that is any day that I don't use the $10, it cannot roll over to the next day. That has to go into, um, like, towards a debt payment. So, like, if there's something that I want that's $12, it's not going to happen. I'm going to have to add it to a wish list and just see what happens, see if I still want it when I have more spending money and I'm able to get it. But by doing that, I'm putting money that I would normally be spending on myself. Um, so I do have that option, but I am also, I'm limiting, I'm limiting that option and I'm using it, whatever I don't use of that, I'm setting aside to pay for some bills that I have. So, so what I do here is like food and spending. 
So $10 a day, so that's $70 per week. And I'm just going to make a note of that on the specific envelope. And that way at the end of each week, you can take it right to, um, to the bank and put it in debt. Now, realistically, this is for someone that really likes to have cash, goes to the bank every week um, with their paycheck, gets cash out. For me, personally, I like to have the system going so I know like where my money is going, but I'm a very um, electronic digital person, kind of. I do not, like, I don't have time to go to the bank every week. I go to the bank to make my car payments and that's pretty much it. I get direct deposit and pay all my bills online. Luckily, I'm able to do that. So um, for that, what I did is I kind of did like the same system like this, but I put the money that I'd be putting um, towards each thing into an automatic savings account. And for that, I just have it transferred out of my main account into a Capital One savings account, which is pretty awesome. I'll link below because that one is really easy to do. And you'll watch your money just grow. Um, this is until I at least get all of my credit cards paid off because um, realistically with my student loans and with what I owe on my car, I, um, I don't think I'll be getting everything paid off anytime soon. So realistically, this is just until I get my credit cards paid off. And then I'll look at everything again from there. But anyway, whichever way works for you, um, envelope system or online savings account system, set it up and do it. You'll see a huge difference in that. Who's joining me with this? Um, yeah, so join me in this See What You Save. I'm really, um, I do have a vacation coming up at, actually next week, oh, holy cow, next week. So I did not realize I was giving up so soon. But anyway, so um, I obviously already plan to spend money there. But I'm going to try and do a, like a no spend challenge on anything in February and then take a look at where I'm at and go from there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you'd like to um, to join me. Maybe I'll start like a Facebook group or something so we can have, so we can support each other. Um, but anyway, thank you for watching. Um, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I will be sure to update you guys maybe at the end of February when I'm done to see how this is going, if it's still going, but I have high hopes. Thank you for watching, so go ahead and subscribe to my channel, like this video if you want to know more, and have a great day everyone. Thanks for watching.